I'm Patrick, recording videos such that it helps you for your CAT exam. Today's basic topic is how to improve your DI. So I've given some hint when I'm talked about a schedule for DI. But let's we'll go in detail with regard to say. DI is all about graphs and charts. I would, if I want to really improve my DI, what I'll do is every graph and chart which I'm trying to solve or maybe tables, I will first try to think what can be the answer just looking at the numbers overall. Mark the answer, then calculate and see which is the answer. I need to build that gut feel with regards to ability to understand graph charts better to solve it faster. So that means for every set that I solve, I will first try to just look at the graph and chart and see what can be the answer. Mark it I mean, before even I've, before I calculate and try to get and see why my answer was wrong. What made my answer wrong and what was the right answer? I may do it for every side of sum. So the best way to solve DI is try to trying to do without pen on paper. Unless the calculations are too tedious, try to do it without pen and paper. Just look at the graphs and work on it. Even if the calculations are tedious, see if you can approximate it, find out. So next coming to the calculation part, the second part. First I said DI without just looking at the graph, mark the answer, then calculate and check whether your answer is right or wrong. Second is calculations. I'm not very really big fan of mugging up tables, nor do I know a lot of tables. But yes, I think you should know tables at least maybe up to 12 as such, 12, 13 maybe. Okay, not that I know 13 table, but I have over a period of time practice and well, while solving the sum, it has come to me. But yes, you can maybe mug up tables with 12, 13. Squares maybe up to 25, 30 squares. Uh, cubes maybe up to 12. Uh, fraction ratios, those are the most important, up to 1 upon 11, 1 upon 12. Right. So these are things that I would expect you all to know. Maybe tables up to 13, squares up to 30, cubes up to 12, and fraction ratios up to 1 upon 12. Half, 1, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4. Till 1 upon 12, you should be able to convert to percentage. Apart from that, any calculation which are there, you should be able to calculate fast, simple. Like for example, if I say 24 into 32, I don't know what is 24 into 32, but can I find out? So 24 twos are 48, I know. 24 threes are, I know, 72. So 720 plus 48, I know, 768. I can get the answer fast. Okay, or maybe 32 into 19. I can do 32 into 20 minus 32. 32 into 20 is 640. Minus 32 will give you 308. So simple such calculation if you do regularly in your mind every day, I'm sure it will help. One more way of practicing calculation is take four digit numbers, four digits. Break it up into two and two digits. So you have two two digits, add those two numbers, subtract those two numbers, multiply those two numbers, and then divide those two numbers. Do it in your mind. Maybe you can do multiplication division approximately and accurately and try to see how close your approximate answers are to the accurate answers. Try right, play with numbers, it helps. Also maybe finding factors of those numbers also could help. Maybe in mathematics, but it could help in calculations somewhere. So these are some things that you need to do every day with regards to calculations. Coming to approximations, as I said, whenever you calculate, for example, you're doing two or digit calculations when you practice session. First, approximately mark the answer, then accurately calculate and check why your answer is different. Same with division. Approximately see what can be the answer and then find out actually maybe by Kelsey and see why your answer is different. Over a period of time, once you get a knack about why your answers which you approximate are different from the actual answers, you will be better at it. Right? So three parts for improving your DI. First is understanding graphs. Second is calculations. And third is approximations as I said earlier. If you can practice this regularly, spend not much but maybe 15 minutes on calculation, maybe one two sets every day. I think that should help you to build on your DI. Important thing is regularity. If you are regular, you can do well. But if you just once in a day do it, may not help as such. Regularity is important for cap preparation. I hope this helps. Thank you.